So let's get into the let's get into talk about the engine, the transmission, drivetrain <laughs> stuff. So this one is a TRD off-road, so it comes with the 3.5 liter V6. And this is an all-new engine, as Mike mentioned. This is a 3.5 liter Atkinson cycle. Brand new engine for us. Uh, it, it features a D4S technology, which is port fuel injection and a direct fuel injection. And one of the things you'll notice uh, when you're out there, Mike mentioned it a little bit yesterday, uh, it has the ability to self-clean the direct injectors. And without the, the D4S technology, we wouldn't be able to do that. So it's one of those things that we built into the truck to increase the uh, longevity of the engine and really increase customer satisfaction. So you'll notice it's just this ever, ever slightest sort of uh, ticking noise, and it'll last for 10 to 20 seconds. Just um, throughout the day, you might notice that. So this engine uses uh, variable valve timing for intake and exhaust, and it uses that variable valve timing system to switch in between an auto cycle and an Atkinson cycle. So based on the demands being placed on the engine, it can switch back and forth between the two, and it does it seamlessly. So I'll challenge anybody to uh, <coughs> to tell me when that when that I haven't found it yet. It, it's really really smooth. It typically does it at a hot idle, and and it's what it's doing is it's going through a, a self cleaning. Uh, well, to clean the injectors. To clean the direct injectors, yeah. So when it's doing that, it's it's using the port injectors. It also uses the port injectors, a traditional fuel injector, uh, typically at idle. Um, and, and other other times, so it's it's constantly switching back and forth between uh, the different cycles and the different fuel injector systems. So we've got a brand new transmission. It's a six-speed automatic, and this truck's got the automatic. Uh, it's it's also available with the brand new six-speed manual transmission. Uh, the the six-speed automatic transmission has uh, direct clutch pressure control right now. So it, we've eliminated some of the shifting mechanisms, some of the, the clutch packs on the, on the transmission. So uh, transmission's actually gotten smaller, uh, more compact, and lighter, and it's more durable. The manual transmission, uh, likewise, is, is uh, the, the shifting mechanisms have, have uh, improved. We've got uh, carbon synchronizers now in the, in the manual transmission. Um, uh, improved uh, bearings and especially done some work um, in and around the, the shift linkage uh, and, and the shift rail. So you'll notice when you drive the manual transmission, it, it shifts really, really smooth. It's a sweet, sweet transmission. Uh, brand new transfer case. It's the smallest in the segment, lightest, most durable. Um, we've got two new uh, axles. We've got an eight, eight inch axle that's a carryover essentially, uh, with the exception of now we're utilizing high strength steel in that axle. And we've got an eight and three quarter inch. That's a brand new axle, um, and uh, high strength steel that increases our uh, gross axle weight rating by about 24 percent in the back. Um, and the transfer case. What are the modes? Two wheel drive, four wheel drive, all wheel drive. That is the ones. Two wheel drive and four wheel drive. So. No, so it's a part time four wheel. Part time four wheel drive system. Right. Correct. All TRD models get a locking rear differential, electronically locking differential. Um, that's an excellent question. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. So non-TRD models uh, feature uh, 4W demand, which is uh, 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 features A-Track, our, our electronically locking um, four-wheel drive system. But the uh, TRD off-roads feature, uh, elect all of them regardless, feature an uh, E-locker in the back. Uh, let's, okay, let's talk about brakes. So we've got uh, discs up front and drums in the back, and a lot, a lot of work has gone into really fine-tuning and, and improving the uh, analog braking system on these trucks. The TRD off-roads use a little bit different uh, brake booster system. They actually use a, uh, a hydro boost system, and it's a key enabler of the crawl control. And essentially, without the uh, hydro boost system, you couldn't get this system to operate the way that it does. It's really, really good. There's, there's other systems on the market that do essentially the same thing, uh, but the Hydro Boost system allows the system to develop a lot of pressure really instantaneously. So there are times when you'll be rock crawling and, and all four wheels will start to go down off of a rock face. 
And in that instance, you need a whole lot of pressure like right now. And a traditional uh, vacuum brake booster system just cannot produce that kind of volume that quickly. So we've gone to a different booster. So non-TRD off-road trucks uh, feature a, a new brake booster system. It's a two-stage brake booster system. And essentially, um, with the ABS systems, before you always had sort of an on-off, the uh, you know, pulse on-off. And now with this new system, we're able to sort of meter the amount of on-off that, that we can produce at each, each wheel. So it's, uh, it's a lot more fine-tuning, a lot more capable system. So even though we retained essentially the, the hardware, the braking hardware that we have from the previous truck, the braking performance is much, much better. With, with the improvements to the, the brake booster and, and the new tires, the testing that's been done uh, by our engineers indicates that we have best-in-class braking. So it'd be really interesting to see uh, your, your testing results and see how that comes back to see if that, you, you find the same. Why no discs in the back? That would be a great question for, for Mike, uh, our chief engineer. I, I, I know that um, you know, the brake performance is really, really good on this truck. It, like I said, in fact, the braking testing that we've done, um, we're, we're at best in class. We're better than anything out there in class. So um, brakes, drum brakes work exceptionally well on pickup trucks. We have best in class braking. And so uh, there you have it. Thank <laughs> you.